Hello guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Ubuntu Studio 1710 Artful Aardvark. I have loaded up the Ubuntu Studio homepage, which you can see at ubuntustudio.org. Reading the blurb on their front page here. Ubuntu Studio is a free and open operating system for creative people. We provide the full range of multimedia content creation applications for each of our workflows. Audio, graphics, video, photography, and publishing. Uh, that's actually pretty interesting because I've never used Ubuntu Studio before, but I always assumed that Ubuntu Studio was mainly for people that create or edit audio or video. But there's obviously more to it. Obviously, uh, graphics designers, uh, there's a lot of graphics programs. I'm sure GIMP and Inkscape and those kind of things are installed. I also never considered uh, photography applications. And the really surprising one is publishing. So I'm assuming they have a lot of uh, word processing, office kind of tools for those that uh, wish to write and, and publish you know, written content. So that's cool. So today I'm going to be installing Ubuntu Studio 1710 inside a virtual machine. So let's get started. All right, so I've downloaded the ISO, which was pretty large for an ISO for an Ubuntu spin. Or, or, or an official flavor of Ubuntu rather. It was 2.7 gigs. Uh, it looks like when you boot up it's asking language. I'm assuming language for the installer. Uh, it's already selected English so I'm just gonna let this countdown continue. We wait a couple seconds. Still waiting for the uh, ISO to load up. Alright, and it looks like it is taking us straight into a live environment that we could play around in and test out. I'm not going to do that because I want to get this thing installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little disk here that says install Ubuntu Studio. And this is the standard Ubuntu installer, which is called the Ubiquity installer. Alright, first thing you have is language selection. It's chosen English for me, which is correct, so I'm going to continue. Alright, and then we have the usual two questions here. Do we want to download updates while installing? I, I don't do that on these videos for sake of time. I usually just run an update later off camera. Uh, install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi hardware, MP3, and other you know, multimedia stuff. Yeah, you need to tick that on. You need the proprietary graphics drivers, Wi-Fi drivers, and you need the multimedia codecs, especially since I'm reviewing uh, a distro like Ubuntu Studio that's got a ton of multimedia applications. Yeah, we need to install this third-party software. And this will probably take a minute or two for it to download and install this third-party software, so I'll pause, pause the recording for a minute. All right, that took about a minute for it to install that third-party uh, software. Next is the installation type, basically how it's going to write to the disk. Uh, in my case, being inside a virtual machine, I'm just going to let it wipe the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine and, and install Ubuntu Studio to it. Uh, you guys that are installing this on physical hardware may need to do something else down here for manual partitioning, especially if you're dual booting alongside another operating system, say uh, Windows. You'll have to uh, click something else down here and then go through a uh, setting up your partitions. I don't have to do that. I'm going to erase disk and install Ubuntu Studio. Then we get our warning that it's about to format the drive and write to the disk. It's going to uh, set up an extended for file system on SDA. That's correct. Time zone, Chicago. This is a central time zone in the U.S., that's correct. Keyboard layout, English U.S., that's correct. If I want to test it out, I can. Yep, that works. Now we need to create our user. So for the username, I'm just going to choose Studio. 
give it a simple password. We have the option of logging in automatically without a password on boot up. I don't like ticking that on. I like being required to uh, type a password to log in. And now the installer will start. It'll run through a little slideshow here of uh, what Ubuntu Studio is all about while the installer uh, runs. I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes. It may take 10 minutes for the installer to run. We'll see. Okay guys, the uh, installer is finished running. That just took a few minutes. It, it wasn't too long at all. I, I doubt it even took 10 minutes. Now we have this little pop-up. We have to restart the machine to continue the or to finish the installation. And that's what I'm going to do now. All right, I have rebooted the machine. Let's see how long our freshly installed Ubuntu Studio 1710 takes to boot up. All right, we got to a login manager very fast, which is typical of Ubuntu. So, let me log in. Wait for our desktop environment to load. All right, this looks like we're going to have a pretty small screen resolution. Let me see if I can get the Virtual Box Guest Edition installed so I can make this resolution full screen. Okay, it just took a minute to get the uh, Virtual Box Guest Editions installed and, and running. Ubuntu di distributions are usually pretty good about these guest editions, so let me log back in. All right. And this is Ubuntu Studio 17.10. Now the desktop environment is XFCE. They're choosing to run the XFCE desktop environment for Ubuntu Studio. XFCE is kind of a lightweight but fully functional desktop environment. It's quite nice, very traditional. Uh, but the big part of Ubuntu Studio is the software that comes pre-installed with Ubuntu Studio. So let me go through the menu and show you what we have. All right, under audio production, we have an audio utilities subcategory, which comes with Kid 3 Cute. Under effects, we have AT1, we have CAF plugin pack, we have GuitarX, which let me load up GuitarX. GuitarX is a uh, guitar amp simulator so kind of a kind of cool that they include all of this now I should warn you guys that uh, when I'm running through all this audio and video software I'm not familiar with almost any of it because I'm not an audio creator uh, editor same with video I do very little video uh, editing uh, I do this YouTube uh, channel here, but I don't do much with video. I, you know, I, I don't use very many tools to create these videos. So keep that in mind as I'm going through audio production here. Instruments we have Aeolus, the CAF plugin uh, pack again. Drum KB1, which is an old school drum kit sampler. We have the Foo. YC20, which is an organ synthesizer. Phasix, which is a phase harmonic advanced synthesis experiment. QSynth, we have Sample V1, which is an old school polyphonic sampler. Uh, synth V1, old school polyphonic synthesizer. Yoshimi, which is a real time synthesizer. And then we have some MIDI utilities, such as G MIDI Monitor the jack keyboard, cube MIDI, a virtual MIDI keyboard, Yoshimi, oh uh, we have a, uh, a error message here from when, when I launched uh, GuitarX earlier I guess it didn't it crashed or something as I closed it uh, I, I probably should have filed that bug report but we'll move on alright we have mixers and controllers and you have a, a few different mixer programs here. I'm not going to go through all the, all these programs because it's 
it, it's a gigantic collection of software that's installed on Ubuntu Studio. Like I said, the the uh, ISO was 2.7 gigs, so they really have installed the kitchen sink for audio and video here. Uh, I will mention a few of uh, the big name programs that are installed. They do have Ardour, Audacity, which uh, you can use to edit audio files. We have Bracero, which is a disc burning utility. DG Edit, which is uh, Drum Gizmo's drum kit editor. Hydrogen, which creates drum sequences. Internet DJ console for live radio show or podcast. That's cool. LMMS, which I believe is the Linux Multimedia Studio. Uh, I've actually used this program before. It's let me launch this one if it'll launch. Anyway, it's a pretty cool program for those wanting to, you know, create some some music in Linux using open source software. Uh, back to audio, some of the other big big name programs that they installed: Muse Score, PetraFood, Q Tracker. All right. Let's move on to some other categories here. Graphic design. We have your usual suspects like Blender, which uh, is for uh, animation and 3D rendering. We have the GIMP, of course. We have Inkscape, of course. Krita for digital painting. We have a My Paint program, which I'm assuming is your standard paint program. Yeah. For video production. We have Blender again, you know, for your animations. We have the DVD NG. This is a uh, a way to uh, create video CDs and DVDs. So if you're doing a lot of disc burning, DVD is, is a, a great utility. Caden Live is a video editor. It's a uh, part of the KDE suite of programs. Let me launch Caden Live. Yeah, it looks like it's complaining it's missing some dependencies or something there at the beginning. That's not a good sign. Anyway, Caden Live version 17.08.2. Caden Live is a fantastic program. All right, back to video. We also have OpenShot Video Editor. OpenShot is great. PTV. TV is also awesome. I actually do use TV uh, to make these videos on this YouTube channel. Uh, it, it's very simple and intuitive. You know, not the most powerful video editor, but uh, it's great for, for what I need. Subtitle editor. We have Voco Screen, which is for screencasting. XF Burn, another disk burning utility, which is strange. They include XBurn and Bracero. You know, why do you need two different disk burning utilities? Mm. XJDO. Uh, I've never heard of that. That's a simple video player that gets sync from Jack Transport. Okay. And uh, Ubuntu Studio does have Jack installed. What is Jack? Jack is a audio and MIDI uh, server, low latency capable audio and MIDI server that uh, a lot of professional audio people use. All right, accessories. Now, this is where we get more into our system tools. You know, this, I won't spend much time on this. This is your usual suspects for accessories. You have your archive manager, calculator, file searcher, character map, yada, yada, yada. You have the X XFCE utilities like their text editor, the mouse pad, and their task manager. All right, education, LibreOffice, math, games, minds, and Sudoku. Internet, of course, you have the Firefox web browser, you have Pigeon, Thunderbird, Transmission. Alright, back into some of the multimedia stuff. Media playback. We have the Parole Media Player. This is the video player for Ubuntu Studio. And XJDO, which I'm guessing is some kind of audio program. It says right click. Okay, open video, sync, yeah. Alright. And one more category I should cover because it's kind of a a big category for Ubuntu Studio, and I didn't realize it until I read that blurb on their homepage. Is the Office category? Again, they uh, 
also are catering, catering to uh, content creators as far as uh, print and uh, you know written the written word. So Calibre, this is a uh, ebook library manager. I've used Calibre before. If you have a like a Kindle or an e-reader, Calibre is a great way to manage your ebook library. Dictionary, we have our document viewer. We have our ebook editor. Let me check that out. I'm not sure what this is going to be. All right, I'm assuming this is a way to create and edit ebooks. Yeah, it looks like you can do some HTML stuff in it. I was actually looking for an about page, but there's not one under help. It does have a user manual. Anyway, that's interesting. Also under Office, we have some of the LibreOffice programs. We don't have the entire LibreOffice suite, just the really important ones. Uh, the word processor and the spreadsheet. So we also have a calendar, PDF Shuffler, which is for PDF merging, rearranging, splitting. Again, a lot of uh, e-reader, e-book apps on, on Ubuntu Studio. Plume Creator, write your fiction here, manage your writing projects. Let me launch Plume Creator. Choose language, I want English. All right, so this looks like an interesting little uh, app. The Plume Creator, we have tabs over here for our outline, for notes. So this is probably for professional writers, for novelists, that sort of thing. Let me close out of this. And I think that's a, a pretty good overview of what Ubuntu Studio is all about. We've covered, you know, all the programs that are installed by default. It comes with a ton of audio, video, publishing programs installed by default, which is great. Uh, I don't know how hard it would be to install some of these programs. I don't know if they're all available in the, the Ubuntu repositories. I'm assuming they are. But even if they're just, you know, a apt install away, uh, it would still take a lot of time to install all the software already included in, a, in Ubuntu Studio. So if you are an audio or video creator, creator or editor, a, uh, we didn't talk much about photographers, if you're a professional f photographer, uh, also publishers, uh, print publishers, uh, novelists, uh, you create PDFs, uh, e-reader file, files, Ubuntu Studio, uh, comes pre-installed with pretty much anything you need so I would give Ubuntu Studio a, a try if you if this feels some sort of niche for you so peace guys